Hey, I'm Steve Thomason, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use layer comps in Photoshop to make a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to turn this page from my graphic novel into this PowerPoint presentation. I do this because I'm a teacher and a preacher, and I like to tell this story uh, panel by panel, one word balloon at a time, and this is a workflow that has worked for me. I hope that you'll find it helpful. So let's dive in. Okay, I have my Photoshop document opened. The key to this is layers. So if you come over here and click on layers, if your layers icon isn't uh, displayed, you can come up here to window and click on layers or hit F7. That will open up your layers document. The key to Photoshop is layers. So as you can see here, I've got all my layers in order and each panel of the graphic novel is a separate layer group. And if I, just for example, if I open up group six, which is this panel right here, let me zoom in on it. You can see that there are four separate layers. I've got the word balloons, as separate layers and I have subdivided the word balloons and so what I want to do is eventually I want to create a sequence of images where this one shows up first and then this one and then this one and that's what I'm going to show you how to do so let me zoom out back to the whole page um, the key to this is layer comps so the way you open up layer comps is you go to window and you come down here and find layer comps and it'll pop it open now this is a floating as with all windows you can uh, lock it into a dock here so that you can toggle it open or you could have it floating around and put your layer comps window wherever you want it but i'm going to dock it right in there so it stays nice and tight and what a layer comp is it originally it's designed in Photoshop so that you like if you're laying out an advertisement or something you can have different versions of it and, and toggle through those but I've learned that if I use layer comps um, I can actually take this graphic novel page and create uh, the panels one by one in sequence as each word balloon comes out in sequence so let me show you how it's done so first of all I what I want to do is I want to I'm just scrolling down and hiding all of the panels so I want to start with panel one now in this particular panel I don't have any dialogue now the, a really important thing that you want to do is create guides because when you export this as JPEGs the guides will actually stay with it so um, that'll come in that'll be important when we go to crop it later on um, I need to hide this so that I can grab. So what you do is you just grab right here in the ruler on the side and you bring it over. And these will become guidelines for when we crop the images later. All right, so here is panel one. So I'm going to come over here to layer comps. And I'm going to come down here and click on this add button. And it'll show you new layer comp. And then I just, I just title it one. Then I hit OK. Boom. Now I have layer one and it'll work, it will remember that. So I'm going to come up here to panel two and I'm going to hide panel one. Now I have uh, three word balloons. So I want to hide them in sequence. Let me move that to better sequence. There we go. So that, let me move that down there so I'll get it in the right order. No, I still don't have it. There we go. Boom. Okay, so let me zoom in on this so you can see what's going on in the action. We've got this panel where Jesus is on the shore. Peter sees him. So the first thing that we're doing, I need to zoom out just a little bit, is we want panel two to show up with no word balloons. But I need to create new guidelines this will become very important because you have to make sure that you crop it the same way each time. So these guidelines 
See how I have a border around each panel? That'll come in really handy. Okay, so this is now a layer comp. So I'm going to name this one 2-1. So this is panel 2, first iteration of that. And then if I come up here and I reveal the first word balloon, I'm going to zoom out so I don't have to keep opening and closing my layer comp file. So I've got this first word balloon. So if I add another layer comp, click this, then it's 2-2. Two two. Now notice what happens if I, I can hit the backwards and forward arrows. 2-1 has no word balloon. 2-2 two two has a word balloon. And then you reveal the next word balloon. And you click Add. And it's 2-2-3. Two dash, two dash click that. Reveal the next one. Add 2-4. Boom. And so now you can see I've got panel 1. Panel two, two, one, two, 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 or two, four. And let me just go through, and I'm going to do this for all of the panels now. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to hit save, command S or save, and now here comes the magic. So what you want to do to export all of these is you come over here to file, export, export layer comps to files, and then you got to make sure you get this all right. The first thing you want to do is click on browse and make sure it's pointing to the correct folder. So I'm doing drawing through John. I'm going to create a new folder called page 25 and hit enter. And then I'm also I'm actually going to create another folder under page 25 and call it uh, page 25 images. And you put this in whatever folder you want. And then when I, when I click open, then it's going to point there. Now, the next thing you want to do is create a file name prefix because when it exports these images, it's going to put whatever you type in this box at the beginning of the file name. So this one is John underscore 21. I'll just leave it at that because it's the whole chapter of John 21. So this is John 21. Um, here you have a choice of selected layer comps only but we don't want that because we want it to export all of my layer comps. And then you get to choose what uh, format of file you want to export to. So I'm going to choose JPEG and I just leave it at 8. You can adjust the quality, uh, higher, lower quality, but 8 works good for me. So you've got all your parameters set and then you click Run. And what it's doing is it's going through each of those layer comps and it's exporting it as a JPEG file to your hard drive, which is pretty sweet. So you can uh, hit Command S or Save, Command W and close that file. And then what I'm going to do is come over here to my uh, Finder. Let me bring this in the window here. And if I go to Drawing Through John and I come down here to page 25, there it is. That's the folder I just created. And you'll notice that it creates the JPEG as a full page. And we don't want that. So the next step is that you, what I do is I come here and I click on the first file. And while holding shift key down, I click on the last file. And it selects all the files. And then if you have a right mouse click on your mouse, you can right mouse click. I don't because I have a magic mouse. So I hit the control button and click here. And it opens up this menu. And I do open with, since it's a JPEG file, it wants to default to the preview. But I just come down here and do open with uh, Photoshop. And boom, it opens up 
all of my individual JPEGs. So the, the next thing that we want to do is come over here and click the crop tool. So make sure that your view setting that you are snap to guides, that that is check marked because that if that's not, then you're going to be in trouble. So I click crop and I just click somewhere near this intersection of guides and it'll snap right to that guide and release. And then you just hit the enter button, boom, and it crops it for you. And then what I do is I do command S to save it, command W to close it. And then I just go through and uh, it, I'm working backwards in sequence. So I hit enter, command S, command W. And you always have to keep in mind, what do you want your final PowerPoint to look like? So I want this to be, I want it to be a double panel. And so I'm going to continue cropping all the way over here, even though that one's not there anymore. And that'll keep it consistent. So I hit enter and I do command S, command W. And again, I'm doing the same crop guidelines. Like that. Okay, so that was my double spread down here. So now my final PowerPoint, this is where um, from here to here, this is what I want my final image to be in PowerPoint. So I'm going to crop it like that. Do Command S, Command W, and, and I want to make sure that I keep cropping it with the same guidelines. And that way, when I bring it into PowerPoint, it'll, it'll be rock solid. <laughs> Okay, so now we're done with Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and close Photoshop. And now, if you look at my JPEGs, you'll see that they are actually, let me pull this in, they're actually cropped just the way we wanted them. So now these JPEG images, uh, you can use them however you want. You can place them anywhere. I'm going to put them in PowerPoint show you how I do that. So that's the next step. I'm going to open up PowerPoint, change this to uh, John 21. And I add a new slide and I make sure that the layout is blank. And then what I do is I bring up my images. So go back down to page 25. Now I'm going to make these smaller. I'm going to make this smaller so it all fits inside of my recording window. And all I do is I drag the image into PowerPoint and then I just drag the corner and snap it to the edge. And there it is, boom. And then if I just uh, add a new slide, come down one, drag it in, snap it. Click a new slide, come over here, go down one. Now, the, the important thing here let me let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. The important thing here is to grab that corner and make sure it snaps to the edge. And you can see by doing that, the image stays rock solid and then the new panel comes in. So we have, as we walk through our PowerPoint slides, we can just progress through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of these and then I'll show you what the final product looks like.
Okay, so now I have all of my slides put in there. A couple things I want to do. First of all, I'm just going to walk through, hit my down arrow, and make sure that they all do what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, so then if I click over here and I can hit Command A, that selects all the slides. I like to throw in a fade transition as you present it. And then I also like to click on Slideshow, hit Set Up Slideshow, and make it browsed by an individual. So what that does is that when I come down here and I hit uh, Slideshow, it opens it up in a window instead of full screen. And so now this is the actual final product. If I hit the right arrow, it just advances through and it has a nice little uh, fade transition between the panels. You can see how nice and tight that is. So now uh, you've just converted your graphic novel page into a sequential art presentation and PowerPoint. So if you were teaching this passage or, you know, just sharing your graphic novel, um, this is how you do it. So I hope that you found this to be a helpful tutorial to turn whatever Photoshop document with layers into a sequential PowerPoint. Thanks for watching.